My wife came home yesterday and said, Honey, the car won't start, but I know what the problem is. I asked her what it was and she told me it had water in the carburetor. I thought for a moment then said, You know I don't mean this badly, but you're not mechanically inclined. You don't know the carburetor from the radiator. No, there's definitely water in the carburetor, she insisted. Okay, honey, that's fine. I'll just go take a look. Where is it? In the lake. <laughs> Bob returned from a doctor's visit and told his wife Alma that the doctor said he only had 24 hours to live. Wiping away her tears, he asked her to make love with him. Of course, she agreed and they made passionate love. Six hours later, Bob went to her again and said, Honey, now I only have 18 hours left to live. Maybe we could make love again? Alma agreed and again they made love. Later Bob was getting into bed when he realized he now had only 8 hours of life left. He touched Alma's shoulder and said, Honey please? Just one more time before I die. She agreed, and then afterwards she rolled over and fell asleep. Bob, however, heard the clock ticking in his head, and he tossed and turned until he was down to only 4 more hours. He tapped his wife on the shoulder to wake her up. Honey, I only have four hours left. Could we? His wife sat up abruptly, turned to him, and said, Listen, Bob, I have to get up in the morning for your funeral and you don't have to get up. <laughs> Honey, can you bring me a beer before it starts? She brings him a beer. Honey, can you pass me the remote before it starts? She passes him the remote. Honey, can you put my work clothes in the washer before it starts? She gets up and puts his working clothes in the washer. Honey, could you bring me some nachos? She cracks. What the hell? Do you think this is a damn hotel? Do you think I'm here to fulfill your every need? Am I supposed to be handing you every little thing? Wash your clothes, clean up after you like your personal maid? Huh. So it started. 